Hello there. In this video, we'll discuss the basics of transfer pricing and go through a pretty common transfer pricing problem. First of all, in essence, transfer pricing is very similar to the special order decision. Remember in the special order decision, somebody comes to you and offers to buy a product that you normally make, typically at a price lower than you normally sell it for. And then you would determine what the appropriate price would be in order to make a deal. Well, in transfer pricing, the same situation exists. Instead of you only focusing on your own level of profitability and not being concerned about the other party, in transfer pricing, you have a related division that is looking to buy a component that you manufacture for use in a product that they manufacture and sell. And they're looking also to optimize their profits. So key consideration in transfer pricing basically includes whether or not the selling department first has the excess capacity to supply what the purchasing department is asking for. Well, that's no different from the special order decision because if what we're looking to determine is, is there an opportunity cost? And that opportunity cost comes in the form of lost contribution margin on external or outside sales. The second key consideration is, is the transfer price high enough to cover the incremental costs of the order? And third, is the transfer price low enough for the purchasing department to reach its target profit goals? And essentially, it's that third piece that differentiates a special order decision from a And we can illustrate it something like this. Here's our floor and we have all of our variable cost per unit. This will result in a minimum transfer price. The other difference, however, between special order decisions and transfer pricing decisions is that there's actually a cap to what the maximum price is. The maximum TP is actually what the external selling price is or what we call the market price. And so you can have any combination of transfer price somewhere between the minimum transfer price and the maximum that can include variable cost plus a markup, can include all fixed costs, uh, also with a markup, etc. However, it's also possible that the sum of the total costs can actually exceed the maximum transfer price, which is the market price, in which case a transfer will not occur because the costs are simply more than the other division or the buying division can get from the outside market. In essence, the decision rule is pretty simple. If the minimum selling price is less than or equal to the market price, you'll have a transfer take place. If the minimum selling price is more than the market price, you won't have a transfer. All right, so now let's go through a basic transfer pricing problem. Let's just briefly review our data. We have a company with two divisions, A, which is an investment center and makes and sells student desks. B is the manufacturing division and sells reading lamps. So a reading lamp is a component part of a desk. Division A can purchase reading lamps at a cost of $10 from an outside supplier and needs 10,000 lamps for the coming year. Division B, which is the selling division, has the capacity to manufacture 50,000 lamps. Sales to outside customers are 40,000 lamps per year and the lamps are sold at a price of $12. So this would be the external selling price. The variable costs on the lamp are $8 and include a dollar of variable selling costs that would not be incurred if the lamps are sold internally. And the total amount of fixed costs is $80,000. Now what's interesting about this $8, of that seven is unavoidable and the $1, which is the variable costs that are not incurred if the lamps are sold internally, is an avoidable cost. The $10 here, this represents the external purchase cost to the buying division. We've got three requirements, each are independent. The first requirement asks us to determine the minimum transfer price to be accepted by the selling division for the 10,000 lamps and the maximum transfer price paid by division A. Remember that the minimum transfer price is equal to all relevant variable costs, which is equal to $7. Again, you will not incur the $1 variable marketing cost. So that establishes our floor. Remember, we're asked about selling 10,000 lamps and the lamp division is currently selling 40,000 lamps with capacity of 50,000. So if we briefly just kind of jot down our capacity is 50,000, external sales is 40,000. This means we have excess capacity of 10,000 units, which means we're okay to make this order essentially at $7. Fixed costs are irrelevant because division B has excess capacity and the fixed costs don't change. So in essence, the minimum transfer price is $7. The maximum transfer price is the $10 market price. The ideal transfer price should be what we call a negotiated transfer price, somewhere between seven and $10. 
Now we'll look at requirement number two. Say now division B could use the excess capacity to sell 20,000 units externally at a price of $8 per unit. The variable costs for a new, this new product are $6 a unit. So now what should be the minimum transfer price accepted by B for the 10,000 lamps and the maximum transfer price paid by division A? Well, in this case now, you have an opportunity cost of lost contribution margin on external sales. So to help us solve part two, first we start with the variable cost, which are equal to $7, recall the $8 total original variable cost, minus the $1 in variable marketing. Except now, in addition to the variable cost, we have an opportunity cost, which we can call OC. Well, the opportunity cost, essentially, is equal to the price that we could sell. We can sell that new product at a price of $8 and a variable cost of $6 per unit. So $8 selling price minus $6 variable cost. That's a $2 contribution margin times 20,000 units sold is total contribution margin of $40,000. What we have to do now is something similar that we did with the special order where we took the lost contribution margin and divided it over the number of units of the special order. Well, in this case, we'll take the $40,000 lost contribution margin and spread that over the size of the internal order, which is 10,000 units. So that gives us a $4 opportunity cost. Therefore, the minimum transfer price for the selling division to remain indifferent is $11. And once again here, Fixed costs are irrelevant because they don't change. The maximum transfer price is still the $10 market price. In this case, therefore, you will not have a transfer. So no transfer will occur because the minimum transfer price of 11 exceeds the maximum transfer price of 10. So there's no point in even having a negotiation. This deal just won't work out. So it's better off for the buying division to go and source the lamps that it's looking for at $10 each and better for the selling division to go and use the excess capacity and make another product. Now for part three, again, independent. Let's say now division A needs 15,000 lamps instead of 10. What should the minimum transfer price be and the maximum transfer price? Well, let's start with determining the minimum transfer price again. Here we have the same variable costs of $7, which is the $8 variable cost minus the $1 variable marketing cost. So that doesn't change. But again, in this case, there is now an opportunity cost associated with lost external sales on the existing product because division A now wants 15,000 lamps instead of 10. And remember our capacity calculation here is the selling division B only has 10,000 capacity available, whereas the order is 15,000 in this case. So that's a 5,000 unit lost external sales. So we'll take a similar approach for this one is we now have an opportunity cost that's going to be calculated as the $12 selling price that it sells to the outside market. Remember we're on the original product here now, right? Division B can sell that at $12 per unit for a lamp and the variable cost is $8, so that's a contribution margin of $4 times 5,000 lost units. That happens to be $20,000 in lost contribution margin, which now has to be spread over the 15,000 unit internal order. Well, that's going to be $1.33 for a total minimum transfer price of $8.33. Fixed costs are irrelevant once again. The maximum transfer price is the external purchase price of $10. And so ideally you'll have a negotiated transfer price somewhere between $8.33 to $10. And that's transfer pricing.